Hi, I'm Chris from Angle. We utilize Web3 technology to redefine the value of old Viking houses. We use blockchain technology to bring money and people to rural regions of Japan that are underserved and overlooked by traditional finance. Hi. Um, Your seven-minute pitch <laughs> begins right now. Hi, I'm Chris Tai. I'm CEO and the founder of Angle. Angle actually utilizes Web3 technology and the power of DAO to own and also renovate old abandoned houses in Japan and operate it as vacation rentals. We actually call ourselves Web3 Airbnb. Have you heard of the word Akia? This Japanese word means abundant vacant houses in Japan. Surprisingly, outside of Tokyo mainly, there are 8.4 million houses that's abundant and vacant in Japan today. And that's one out of seven houses in Japan. And some of them are over 100 years old with great cultural and historical values. But these houses actually pose issues to the local community. Namely, the scenery issues, well, the, uh, and the secondary disasters, and safety issues, and sanitary conditions. Well, these issues together also reflect on the trend of depopulation in rural areas in Japan. So with these vacant houses, Akia, why are we not renovating them and repurposing them in mass? Well, the problem is traditional finance, or the lack of traditional finance money into financing these operations. Well, let's look at how we would finance that in traditional finance. Usually, we use bank loans to finance the renovation and purchasing of Akia. However, banks in Japan don't give out loans for old houses because they cannot evaluate the house price or the value of it as collaterals, so they won't give out loans. But how about funds? Well, there are not many funds, or as I know of right now, there is no funds that invest solely on Akia, because the initial setup costs for funds are very high. And also, funds also want to leverage banking, borrowed money, to increase your returns, but that's not possible with Akia. So um, they have no way of doing that. Then. While well, you look at the public traded funds, operating costs are very high, and the Akia returns is nowhere outrageous like that to give those funds a good enough returns. And also, there are, of course, um, smaller crowdfunding, real estate crowdfunding uh, services, but those services tend to be a little shorter in uh, fund lifecycle time, so that the Akia actually needs a little bit longer time to give out returns. So what you see is one of these akias will be abundant and sort of disappear. So what do we do? We actually utilize a DAO to issue NFTs, membership NFTs, to raise money for, from individuals, actually, to um, own and operate these akia. And the money is directly from individuals. And we believe by setting up this structure, the structure can be used for other sectors and other um, assets that's being ignored by the traditional finance. And why are we using the DAO structure for this? Well, namely, there is the initial cost issue because the DAO is a lot cheaper in setting up than, let's say, a fund. And also, members of the DAO can sell their shares very easily through a decentralized exchange with other members of the DAO. And of course, the maintenance of the structure itself is a cost, and that is very cheap for the DAO, especially right now, um, the, US, uh, the Japanese government is considering to um, change the, the, the laws for the DAO and make it more relaxed for DAOs to exist as an LLC. And of course, the transaction fees, by utilizing Web3 technology, makes it a lot cheaper than the traditional funds. And Altogether, also the DAO provides a kind of transparency and trust that we would not see if, let's say, we raise money or we uh, invest money into a corporation 
that is a black box. But a DAO can provide that kind of transparency, that can provide trust. So together, what we can create is a very small scaled investment vehicle that cater to individuals and also um, can give positive social impact. And it's very decentralized. So a single DAO can have sub DAOs in different regions and purchasing different regions, IKEAs, and have local community support as well as the DAO member support. So from looking from the side of the DAO uh, members, what's the benefit? I think the biggest definite uh, benefit is the decentralized governance. By making the decision making process and also the data transparent under the blockchain, we can instill transparency and trust so that people who are investing money into the DAO can see how exactly the money is being used. And also, DAO can have a very diverse reward systems. Aside from just financial rewards, we can have tokens that can give access to exclusive services in the physical world. And that can be traded in exchange so people can monetize that as well, but also use it, of course. And also the experience of heavily involved in the project, not just by investing money, but putting your effort into it to create a social impact is great for individuals. And this is the future structure that we're setting to um, actually let the DAO own the property and have DAO members investing and putting money into the DAO and collectively own it. And for our current um, DAO structures, we are actually involving our community members to give contributions in helping with installation of amenities, with um, setups, and these contributions are rewarded with DAO tokens. Some of our members are over 80 years old, and we use Web2 tools like Line to actually give tokens, so they don't have to set up hardware wallets or anything. And this way they can get tokens and use that token to actually exchange for uh, free staying at our properties. Finally, we actually utilize this DAO structure not only for IKEA, but we hope in the future this can be used to involve people with passion to create values for sectors and that's really not touched or ignored by traditional finance, but actually can give a positive impact to real society. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Mr. Chris Dye. CEO of Ango Corporation.